Hi, this is Janet Nepales, and we're very lucky to have Miss Universe Philippines with us here in Los Angeles, Celeste Cortesi. Hello, Hi everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, and congratulations on being the Miss Universe Philippines candidate. Thank you. <laughs> so how has the journey been so far for you? It's been really amazing. You know, since I was crowned, it's been already seven months. So I really had a lot of time to prepare, a lot of time spent with my team, and I'm just very grateful to be here right now. I cannot wait to be in the competition. And uh, how was the preparation for you for physical training, mental and emotional training? Well, I have to be honest, it was a bit hard because of course, you know, when you have to join a pageant like Miss Universe, you don't have to be just physically ready. You really have to be mentally and emotionally ready. So it is really an intense training. And, but it's been very amazing for me. I learned so many things about myself. I've learned so many things from my team and I'm just very grateful to be able to share this experience with them. Yeah, and you know, joining a Miss Universe contest requires being tough and cool at the same time. That's true. What kind of training do you think prepared you for this? You know, there is no specific training, to be honest. It's more like you have to be able to control your mind, your emotions, especially during a competition, because it is more like, you know, training based on all your experiences in the past, even before joining beauty pageants. Uh, it is how you shaped your mind during the years up to the pageant that really will make you a tough person and cool at the same time. So I'm just uh, putting everything in uh, action. <laughs> yeah. And did the former uh, Miss Universe title holders in the Philippines give you any advice? Yes, of course. Everybody's so nice to me, honestly. I've learned so much from Bea, from Rabia. They gave me so many advice for the competition. I'm very grateful that I was able to talk to them before coming here. And what kind of advice did they give you? They really told me, well, first of all, to be myself and also to enjoy the experience because, you know, once we're in the competition, we um, tend to forget about enjoying the experience and the girls there and we just want to focus on the competition. But, you know, even if it is a competition, it's also important that I experience every single moment because this is really once in a lifetime. So I have to enjoy it. I have to really appreciate every single moment there. Mm -hmm. And what do you look forward to meeting uh, Miss USA Arboni Gabrielle because she has also Filipino heritage? Yes, I know. Actually, I really cannot wait to meet her. I know that we have so many things in common and I truly appreciate the fact that she's very into her Filipino culture and tradition. So I really cannot wait to see her in the competition. Mm -hmm. And can you comment about the Miss Universe franchise now being owned by a beautiful Asian trans woman and JKN? I am very happy about that and very open about it. To be honest, this is the first time that Miss Universe will be owned by a woman. So I think it is very powerful. It is becoming very inclusive and I'm really looking forward to meet her in person. And you were here several months ago here in Los Angeles. Can you compare what, how different you are now from the Celeste before and the Celeste now? I feel like uh, during my time, even before I joined Miss, uh, Miss Universe, you know, I have learned so many things about myself. As I always say, you know, the first time I came to the Philippines was five years ago. I had no knowledge about Tagalog, about English, about culture and traditions, anything at all. So I can say that I, I've changed for the better. And, you know, 360 degree, I really changed so much. And I'm just very happy of the person that I've become. And I know that I still have so many things to learn. I know that I still have so many things to experience. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And I know it's a secret, but can you tell us a little hint about what your national costume will be or your gown? Ah. <laughs> okay, I, I cannot say like what it's going to be, but it's something new. Um, something, especially national costume, something that was never used before. So I'm very, very excited about that. And of course, my final gown is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be me. And I'm very happy because my team is always very considerate about um, my feelings, about what I also want to bring in the Miss Universe stage. So it is really a teamwork. Mm -hmm. And how about your everyday wear? I know a lot of Filipino fashion designers also want to dress you up. Yes, I'm very excited about that as well because all my outfits are really amazing and beautiful and it's something that you cannot see um, in a beauty queen but you know something really new something very fashion so I cannot wait to show all of them. And have you always been competitive in your life like how were you as a kid? 
<laughs> I've been, I am a competitive person, but I never forget to be kind and nice to other people because I've always believed that any kind of competition that you have in your life has to be healthy competition for you. It is for you uh, a chance to learn more, a chance for you to grow, and that's really how I see the world. It is okay to be competitive, but never forget to be kind to other people. Yeah, and you were in Italy to visit your mom recently. Yes. Can you talk about that reunion? It was one of the best moments of my life and for that I really have to say thank you to uh, Miss Universe Philippines organization because they really made it possible and it was my first time to see my mom after three years and it was a very emotional moment because of course it is so hard for me to stay away from my mother but I know that anything I do it is for her it is for my family and once I saw her after three years my emotions uh, it was really like I cannot even describe. I'm just so happy that I was there for her and I'm happy because she's gonna come in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And uh, you were raised by your mother as a single parent after yes. your father passed away. So tell me what lessons, life gems lessons did you learn from your mother that sticks to you and you want to impart also to your future children? You know, I've always believed that I got my strength from my dad. But since I was able to see my mom raising me and my sister as a single mom in a foreign country, I knew that my strength, I got it from my mother because it was very challenging for her. I could see her sadness in her eyes. And something that I learned is that you should never give up no matter what, no matter the struggles, no matter the challenges you go through. There is always a way for you to move forward. There is always a way for you to um, to really not give up and that's something that I apply in my everyday life whatever I do I always remember the strength from my mother it's nice and uh, if you become the Miss Universe what would be your advocacy or platform and why and how would you promote it I've been working very closely to save the, uh, with Save the Children Philippines, which is our own organization that focuses on malnutrition and hunger amongst children. And I still remember the first mission I went with Save the Children Philippines, which was in a very remote place in the Philippines. And I was able to talk with the mothers and the children. And it was very heartbreaking because I was able to talk to this mother and I asked her, what do you do? What do you say to your child when she doesn't have anything to eat? And she immediately cried. And it was very heartbreaking for me because the first thing that came to my mind is really my mother. Like, I know that the struggles my mother went through were totally different in and in a, in a different scale. But two things that they really had in common is the fact that they were feeling powerless in providing for their own children. And that's why it is very close to my heart because I always related to my story, to my experiences, and that's exactly the platform that I want to bring as Miss Universe. Amazing. And Anna, a lot of Filipinos in the Philippines here and all over the world are supporting and rooting for you. What's your message to the Filipino people? I am just very grateful to be honest. Filipino fans are the best fans in the world and they've been supporting me since day one. They've been giving me so much love and support unconditionally and I just cannot be more grateful than this. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone. I promise once I go to the Miss Universe uh, journey I will always bring you with me guys. Oh that's so lovely. Thank you very much thank for you. joining us and thank good you. luck. Thank you so much. <laughs>